ericmother.com. Yes, yes, we are all aware of negative divergence and how it can help us identify situations where an instrument is about to pull back. Right? This is a Brazilian market on the daily. And we see another example where there's a breakout attempt, but the RSI makes a lower high. So yes, we are very aware of negative divergence. But what I want to talk about is it is always nice and actually advisable if we can confirm that an area with negative divergence has other confirmation points. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. It is the backtest method. Here, we can see that there was backtest failure. In other words, the stock is very aware of resistance here. So yes, we have negative divergence, but the confirmation comes with this backtest line showing rejection and that rejection coincides and confirms that top on a daily closing basis. And again, we can see another use of the backtest failure method of the RSI. Confirmation of resistance with uniform activity, just like here, uniform activity rejection, uniform activity rejection, in other words, and this is key, the market is aware somehow that there is resistance here. And you can see it coincides with that breakout attempt that fails, gives you the daily closing high, and after that, of course, we get the pullback in terms of price. Now, it is important to stress here the need to observe uniform action. So again, notice the uniform action. It is perfect backtest and fail. That's what makes it more relevant. Again, you have perfect backtest and a failure which makes it even more reliable as a turn point so yes we can use uniform excuse me we can use divergence but confirmation can actually be aided by the fact that here we see a clear example of how we can use RSI backtest especially where we see areas of uniform activity rejection confirming that the market is somehow aware of those levels from a psychological standpoint. Eric Mwadith, mother.com, as always, good luck, peace, and blessings. Woo!